Good evening, welcome back. So we were getting ready to do a sound chat test on this 2014 Gibson, or, yeah, Gibson Fender Sonoran acoustic guitar. And when we plugged it in, the input jack wants to give us a bunch of headaches and not let the signal go to the amplifier. So we tested out a different guitar to make sure it wasn't the amp and indeed it's the input jack on this. So stay tuned, that's going to be one of the projects. Uh, fixing and replacing the input jack on a Fender Sonoran acoustic electric. So stay tuned for that project that will be coming up. This is your main player, right? You yeah. play it all the time. So oh, yeah. Yeah. it can't sit around. It's got to be uh, put back in action. It's so got to come home. Uh, since uh, that was a fail on testing it, we're going to go ahead and take a sneak peek at another one of his. What do you got here? Oh, well, we got a Fender Hot Rod. What year was that? 2014? Uh, this one's, I think, the 13. 13? Yeah, 13. Got this one out of New Jersey back in 2015. And uh, it's got high action on it. It's going to have to have some work on this one, too. The bridge It's going to have to be filed down. Truss rod adjustment looks like it's all right. It could probably be moved just a hair, but it's it's all on the bridge. Yeah, it's got a pretty high action right at the moment. So that's a good for playing slide guitar right now with open <laughs> yeah. chords. It'd be it's good for that for the moment. But it's got a really nice two-piece uh, quilted maple top on it. Yeah, it's got the it's got the Fishman tuner and the Fishman jack and all that stuff. So it's just, it's identical to the Sonor as far as a uh, Fishman setup goes. It's got fancy inlays and stuff on the headstock, and it's nice. It's got a more traditional style headstock on this guitar. Rosewood neck. The neck hasn't been treated. This guitar has been bought brand new. Well, you brand new used, but that was way back then. But it's been sitting and sitting and sitting. It's actually never been played. Yeah. Because of the action, I got so many other guitars I've been picking around with, but. So we're gonna have to adjust the truss rod and maybe take this saddle and sand down on the bottom a little bit yeah. and see if we can get rid of some of that yeah, this string is, height there. So The action's so high on this one, this will take any calluses you got off your fingers and rip them right <laughs> off trying right. to push down and play this one. So it's gonna need some work too. So and That's a shame because when, when you bought it, it was 100% playable. Well, it was, it was kind of high back then too. Yeah, not bad though, not like that. So as far as playing your loud box there, Matt's going to put a uh, cancellation yeah. on your loud box for the moment. So we dug this out because since the Sonoran wouldn't play, we were <laughs> going to strum on this one. And with the action this high now, uh, we're not going to be playing that. So uh, we just unboxed another project. Two projects. Yeah. Right. So as we keep going through these cases, we'll see what they are and what they need or don't need. And most of them don't need much, but... Yeah, it's just, it's if anything just, at all. This one needs some attention, which I never had since it's been bought. So. Right. It's a gorgeous guitar. It's beautiful. Yeah. What? Well, maybe uh, you turn it into a slide guitar. <laughs> <laughs> no, it is at the moment. That's exactly what that's from. Remember I said there was a mark there. It looked like a nylon strap. Oh, it's right there. It's from that case. Yes, it's it leaving an impression and a lacquer on it. Let's pull the battery out before we shoot this off. Okay. Yeah, so just to prove we were going to try to play something, we even put the battery in this to get it ready to go. Yeah, if you're going to be storing these guitars with the batteries, then you don't, you don't want to do it. They'll corrode and they'll mess up your springs and it'll be a mess. It'll destroy the, the battery connectors. You definitely want to remove the batteries if you're not going to be using it for a while. All right. So there it is. That's, that's proof we were going to try to play one. So we'll get there. Yeah. We'll have to figure out what to do about that strap too before it permanently leaves a nasty mark there. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. Well, I guess that's it. Two acoustic guitars, uh, both failed on the uh, playing them, but uh, real quick look again here in case you missed the last video. That is a Fender Surf Green versus a Gibson Surf Green. So there you go. Mine actually looks frost blue in this picture. If you go back to my previous video on that, you'll see the 345 frost blue is definitely way different. So again, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Stay tuned. We've got a lot of things to get through here and uh, do. We got pickup projects and just all kinds of other stuff coming. Full guitar builds. 
So again, stay tuned. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Until next time.